It, X? X. Okay, here we go. Oh! Are you hustling me? Well, brew players, living coaches, and rowdy fans all make great cases for being the toughest aspect in American football. Perhaps the toughest is the ball itself because this one object has to withstand being spiked, kicked, thrown, and whatever else your imagination can conceive, all while having to maintain its character for the duration of a season. And today, we've traveled to Team Issue to find out just what goes into making the football so tough. I'm Leland with Koiski, and welcome to Sports Dissected. All right, guys, so I'm here with Mr. Chris Calandro, founder and CEO of Team Issue. How you doing today? Good, good to see you. So uh, obviously we're here to make some footballs. Uh, I heard that this is a football heaven for, for the football fan. We think so. You'll find out pretty quick. Okay. But uh, first, I want to know just a little bit about the history of, of Team Issue, how you got started and stuff like that. So let, let's, uh, let's take a walk, chat. and Yeah, let's talk about it. All right, let's do it. Yeah. Well, uh, it was a long time ago, okay. um, but I started by painting game balls for players and coaches, much like the ones we still sell today. Before we, we did it this way, it's all digital now, but it was really painted by hand. I got to where I couldn't really keep up because the demand was, I built some sort of a following, but we figured it out. And um, so we still sell something like this today. So um, after the, the hand painted balls, you guys moved on to a right. game. On field, game footballs, fully custom, mm -hmm. um, all within the rules, but not only graphics are custom, but uh, we allow quarterbacks to choose their leather and their laces and we got a couple of stripe options and a couple of shape options. And so we sort of let kids, uh, quarterbacks and coaches pick uh, the, the ball and design it the way they want to. Who is one person that has, has one of your footballs that you're most proud of? We've done several U.S. presidents. I think every one uh, for the last uh, a uh, couple of few decades. But I'd probably have to say Roger Staubach is just a, kid, a guy that I watched when I was a kid. He's been here several times, um, class act, and just great to get to know him and to have him around here. You mentioned presidents having your ball. Right. I couldn't help but notice this is a bronzed right. football. This is real metal. <laughs> Explain to me, I guess, kind of like the process and how you even got to this level. A couple of decades ago, we started to get calls from our customers that, and they said, Chris, I don't care how much it costs. We're going to go see the president. I need the best football that there is. And so I created this uh, bronze football that uh, allows us to put the score and the date, and all the things that we do on these uh, footballs. But it's just the best quality there is. They're really expensive. Have you ever played catch with one of these? No, don't recommend it. Okay. <laughs> well. We've got a little history. We've seen kind of the evolution uh, of the company. Now I think, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to go actual make a, make a football. Let's go get our hands dirty. Let's do it. All right. So uh, what happens is the operator lays a hide on this uh, table. The software automatically draws an outline of the hide. It finds the imperfections because there are brands and, and uh, marks on the hide that really would make a bad football. About how many, uh, footballs can you get from one hide? About a dozen. A dozen? Yep. Okay. How has this process helped uh, with, with being efficient with, with using your leather? Uh, leather's terribly expensive. Okay. It's part of the NCAA and the NFHS rules, so we have to use it. So the machine just knows uh, how to get the best, most efficient use of this hide so that there's uh, no scrap and um, the quality of the football is just premium. All right, so uh, this is stage one, uh, inspection. Uh, let's go to stage two. Let's do it. All right. Yeah, so the machine we just saw already made the outline, found out the most yield, cut out around the imperfections, and now I take this table and we cut it. So the projector is here letting you know where it's going to cut, but it's going to cut everywhere that uh, it's projected. How much time uh, does it take? It takes about probably 10 minutes. Wow. 10 minutes, it'll be done. Okay. We're all about technology here. The sweet spot is to make a higher quality product. We don't ever want to cut corners. This definitely creates a better quality product and uh, whatever it takes, that's what we'll do.
you know, every football has an outer layer, which is the leather, and an inner layer, which is a uh, just uber strong fabric that is going to help the ball keep its shape. Just make sure it doesn't stretch and get too fat and um, you know, keep the perfect shape that we want. So right now she's uh, joining together by stitching them up. One thing that I've, I'm seeing on the, on the panels uh, that we've added is the stripe. I also noticed that the professional level balls do not have the stripe. What is, what is that for? Right, well we follow the NFHS and NCAA rules uh, which is, requires a ha half stripe on the football. So you can see these have it applied. So the top two panels get the stripe and the bottom two do not according to the rules. So that's what okay. we do. Okay, got it. Let's move on. Let's do it. So what we're doing now, uh, a little bit later down the line, the football is gonna be laced. Okay. And so this step is a reinforcement. So it makes the uh, this area stronger because it's about to take a beating down the line. Okay. When we lace the ball up, we pull on it pretty hard. So this adds a reinforcement there, so it's nice and strong there and doesn't have any problems down the road. All right, well every football has four panels, so he's gonna start stitching two together and then he'll stitch uh, those two together and make four. Why is it turned inside out? Well, we want the seams to be hidden inside the ball. Um, so it spins, it's more aer aerodynamic. We take pride in the fact that our footballs are very balanced. It will help you throw a spiral better. And the fact that the edges are smooth and it, it cuts the air, it, it helps a lot in the aerodynamics, not just for distance, but for accuracy too. Okay. So now, Mr. Leland, the football okay. is uh, inside out. Okay. But we want to make it right side out because it ain't the way it's supposed to be. Not at all. So you're going to use this pole and you're going to turn it the way that it needs to be. Okay. All right. So let's see what you got. I'll stand safely back. So, what's the first step? You've already messed it up. <laughs> you got to give. All right. I think I'm starting to struggle a little bit. Yeah, I think I might need some help. <laughs> All right. Ah, oh, the trick is I, I didn't have the glove. It's, it's the glove. Come on, man. And while I magic, I did. Ah, uh, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Nice job. Nice job. Oh, that's sweet. Like a pro. Appreciate it. So here we're, uh, we're inserting the bladder, correct? That's right. Okay. That'll, that'll, so we can put air inside and uh, inflate it. Now I was reading somewhere that the, the bladder uh, was used to be made out of pig and that's where they got the, the pig skin name from? That's exactly right. Okay. The, the outside of the ball has always been made out of cowhide, but before vulcanized rubber was invented, uh, they would stick a pig intestine inside and that's how they put air in it. And so oh, the wow. name pig skin just stuck. Wow. There it is. So the next stage is lacing. I'm gonna lace it up. Let's get it laced. Let's do it. All right, so this is uh, the lacing. That's right, closing okay. it up. How customizable can you get with the laces? Uh, we do some crazy stuff. It's one of those innovations that we uh, came up with that everybody else in the industry, the big boys always made them either white or black or something simple like that. But we, uh, started offering color and now we even do uh, multiple colors so you can get your team colors uh, just like the red and gold that you guys are doing here. I think it was a good call. The red yeah. and the gold, I like it. That was your decision, right? It was a team effort. <laughs> All right, I like that. <laughs> there it is. Laced right. up. Laces. Almost home. Over spaces. Right. So this is the, the final stage? Final stage. We just got to put some air in and we're ready to roll. Okay. So you're putting the air in, but he's also helping 
shape it or what's going on here? Yeah, so this uh, this oak mold is the shape of a perfect football. Okay. And so before we shape it, you can see the ball's a little squared off. Mm -hmm. uh, some of these bumps are not, not really what we want mm -hmm. just for aerodynamics. Mm -hmm. And so this machine is over inflating it so that it's pushing out all those imperfections to make it just the absolute perfect shape. Now is that a, a, a league standard per free shape? Yes, yeah, so we have to, uh, we, have, we follow uh, again the standards by, for high school and college. So we, the air pressure has to be perfect, the weight, the shape, it has to meet the right dimensions. So we'll measure it and make sure that it's uh, exactly perfectly in spec. Oh wow. So you see the difference? You can see the difference. We're yeah. good to go? Yeah, let's give it a try. See what you got. Let's go. All right, so we went through each stage into the football creation process. While this ball looks great, uh, I think it's still one more step uh, we need to do. You thinking what I'm thinking? What's that? We'll give it a give it a whirl, see what kind of arm you got. Got to test it. All right, let's do it. Ready to do it? Let's do it. You wanna go first? Here we go. Oh! oh let's go. I get the challenge. If I make it, hit the same spot. It's X. Okay, here we go. Me. I'm done. Appreciate it. Uh, for, for inviting us out. We made the football and uh, until next time. Yeah, it was fun. All right. All right. One lucky fan is going to win this Koiski custom game ball limited edition made by Team Issue. To enter, all you got to do is go follow at Koiski Media and at Team Issue on Insta and Twitter. Get out of here. Hey. <laughs>